Bună, suntem aici alături de Kai Jacobson. Am o întrebare pentru Kai din partea Institutului Român pentru Pace. Știm că Rusia lui Putin este o amenințare, este o provocare pentru România, mai ales că este un regim autoritar, dar este cea mai bună idee de a cumpăra rachete de 4 miliarde de dolari fără dezbateri publice? Uh, în primul rând, uh, I need to apologize for having to answer in English. I înțeleg rămân ușor, but uh, I can address this a bit better still in English. Um, I think the current regime in Russia and uh, Putin's approach is definitely one which there should be concern over, whether it is uh, in his earlier period as president with the wars in Chechnya or uh, the conflict in Georgia, the more recent uh, invasion and ongoing conflict in Ukraine. Uh, these are real and serious security concerns. Domestically as well, the regime is very repressive um, to um, civil society organizations, to different political actors. There have been assassinations of journalists, assassinations of uh, political opponents. So there's a reason why people perceive uh, a threat, a risk, or a challenge. The question of, is a missile defense system the actual uh, intelligent or responsible approach for addressing uh, and dealing with this? I think within Romania, there has been developed uh, over many years now the perception of a, a Russian threat. And this has been strongly fueled uh, by NATO engagement, by a uh, certain strand of, of investment in academics from the United States and others. Um, what that has in some ways prevented us from doing is actually carrying out a, a serious uh, situation and risk analysis, looking at what are the different challenges and security issues facing the country, and then looking at what are actual approaches for addressing those. The challenge with the missile defense system is that it actually feeds into the problem. So from the Russian point of view, uh, it's presented that they are responding to NATO expansion. Uh, whereas we point to the invasion of Ukraine and the, the conflict in, uh, in Georgia um, from Russia and many other parts of the world, they point to the invasion of Iraq, the uh, bombing of Yugoslavia, the uh, occupation in Afghanistan. Um, the challenge is that people who see the wrong being done by one side are completely deaf to hearing the critiques from the other. Very much like at the, the Nader, the low points during the Cold War, where um, the United States and its allies would critique what Russia was doing wrong and the Soviet Union, the Soviet Union and its allies would critique what the United States was doing wrong. And very few were able to see, well, wait a second, it's what we're each doing that is continuing to feed the problem. So those who believe that the missile system is actually part of the solution, one of the challenges that we're failing to recognize is we are feeding into Putin's narrative. It's almost as if we're working for him. Um, we are providing all the argument that Putin needs for sustaining his presentation of a Russian threat and of countries like Romania not really being countries, but just being colonies or, or instruments in the interest of Washington. That is the narrative in, in parts of, of Moscow. The same way in Russia, uh, or sorry, in the West, we have this narrative of just the all-encompassing Russian uh, threat. What neither one recognizes is that the overwhelming majority of citizens um, in Russia and amongst its allied states, in NATO countries, in the European Union more broadly, uh, do not want to have confrontation. Um, the overwhelming majority also within business sector, military and others, uh, really simply want to find intelligent and practical approaches. Uh, the reality is that's not what's being done, now, but that's not what's being done by either side. You're having increased military exercises, uh, calls from the regime in Washington for increasing military expenditure, and you're having the same thing from the other side. During the Cold War, the confrontational dynamic is what was suggested originally by a Pentagon analyst as what would lead to, uh, or was mad. It would lead to mutually assured destruction. Now we're not there yet, we're not even close to that, but what we are is locking into a dynamic of conflict where each party is doing the things that reinforce the negative perception of the other. In Romania, if you were to ask citizens, what are our actual needs? I think a missile system would not be in the top 20. Of course. If you ask for intelligent reflection and assessment of what would best contribute to security. I mean, certainly more women have been killed by their husbands in Romania over the last 30 years than by Russian soldiers, um, literally adding up to many thousands. Um, 
Certainly we have schools that don't have proper electricity or proper textbooks. We have teachers who don't have proper salaries. We have hospitals across the country, and I've, I've walked from Cluj to Bucharest by foot. You can see hospitals that are just crumbling without the resources and infrastructure they need, particularly in rural areas. But also if we're talking about rationally dealing with the security dimension, um, there are many options which could actually engage with that intelligently to try and bring about a solution. They won't happen overnight. They're not simple, but they are more realistic, responsible, and intelligent than measures such as uh, providing billions to American arms industry and weapons companies, uh, essentially taking that from, from realistic and real needs in the country. Mersi, Kai. O să mai avem dezbateri în acest sens. Trebuie să avem politici publice pentru un stat suveran. Și de aceea îți mulțumesc pentru acest scurt interviu. Și eu mulțumesc. And just that last point you mentioned, that's what's so important. This is an issue of national security, of national importance, and that space for respectful, informed dialogue and communication. It's not that people should take this perspective or that perspective, but these are the issues which there is the responsibility to uh, have informed discussion on and intelligent assessment and analysis and looking at what are the spectrum of options, not just running forward with something because it seems exciting to those who, who think missile and weapon systems are somehow uh, uh, guaranteeing security. They're not. Yes. Muchas gracias.